gutted on the new Moreton Bay rail link. The electric trains are being tested along the line for the first time. Joel Dry reports. Well, for the first time today, the Mango Hill train station and the five other new stations along the Moreton Bay rail link have welcomed passenger trains just without any passengers on board. Today was a milestone in the $1 billion Moreton Bay rail link project with testing commencing using electrified passenger trains for the first ever time. On board was just a driver and a few other QR officials and technicians to really work out any kinks in the system that hopefully don't exist. On board driving was a very proud Peter Cherry who had the honour of guiding the train along the 14 kilometres from Petrie right through to Kippering. This testing will continue for the next couple of months and as well as that drivers will begin their training on the brand new line to get used to the signals and the curves of the track before hopefully all going well passengers are filling this train from the middle of this year every one of these trains will take 600 cars off the m1 this is great news for the people of the Redcliffe peninsula and the wider moreton bay area it's expected to shave off huge chunks of travel in peak hour times and we spoke to some of those residents who are itching for this service to be up and running. The bus can take sometimes up to 40 minutes from Rothwell to Petrie so I'm thinking at four stops it'll be probably 10 minutes, I probably can save up to half an hour. Once the system gets the all clear there will be an extra 650 passenger services from Kippering right through to the Brisbane CBD each and every week.